All right, y'all, what it do? Your boy is back on the grind. One more time, your boy is back at it again, man. And no crazy intro or anything like that here. We are just going to get to work. Uh, I'm trying to just get the most done with my time as I have. <laughs> right now, I have about 30 minutes to get some stuff done. So I figure 15 minutes here, 30 minutes here, a couple hours here. As long as I'm chipping away at it, I'm good. So we're making progress, man. This frame is so dirty. I'm talking dir her t uh i'll try to insert a picture here uh that is just simply one uh pile of oil residue uh shop towels things like that of about three piles that i've had over time i mean i'm talking oil residue dust dirt i think it's a combination of uh, just obviously never being clean oil residue and also this car was painted so I think it's a combination of like uh, of just dust from sanding and things like that that settled on top of the uh, the already dirty frame. So it, it's just it's just a mess, you guys. So it's taken me about two weeks just to get this side of the uh, the front of the frame almost done, and it's pretty much kind of where I wanted. I just got to take a wire wheel to it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, since I don't want to get dirty and cleaning more of the frame, is I'm gonna start taking like some of this stuff off, like the windshield wiper motor, get some of this wiring off so that way I can kind of go through it and kind of just see where we're at on it. So I did order a wiring diagram for this particular year car, although the front end of the car is for an 89 uh, to 91, I believe, uh, C10 or K5, excuse me, but, um, but the schematics and everything should be similar. Um, I've wired rewired harnesses before so a lot of the color schemes that GM used back in the day were uh, were pretty similar as far as um, you know the wiring goes where the headlights go things like that green brown all that kind of stuff so anyways what I'm gonna do now is just is just kind of just take some some things off and we'll just kind of just go to town so I'm gonna start with this right here because I got a block off plate uh, that I think might work for it so we're gonna see so let me go ahead and take that off right now Yes, sir. Got him. And this is what I was talking about in my last video. I don't know why they got speaker wire wrapped around here. It's not necessarily holding anything in. This thing is shot anyway. And this car is a full vert. I am not going to use wipers on it. Anyway, I don't even use wipers on any of my cars anyway. I haven't used wipers on my car on an old school probably since well i drive my caprice in the rain sometimes but other than that i mean what am i going to use the wipers for so i'm really just going to try to clean up this firewall up so let me get this block off plate by the way y'all these gloves do not get them and no good so uh one thing shout out to my my guy sbc vel on instagram so s like small block chevy sbc vel short for chevelle all one word um he put me on to this block off plate and i don't know if it's gonna fit on here uh but we'll see but this block off plate is for a chevelle uh, and uh and it fits perfectly for chevelle but i don't know if it's gonna work for this or not so i thought that i would give it a try since i had already bought it for my chevelle I figured since I'm going to take this off, maybe I'll just see if it fits. So let me zoom you guys in here real quick. And 
shoot. That might work. That might work, y'all. Let me see. I got these screws in here, so. Oh, let me turn this light on. Ah, uh, yeah, you guys can see better. So, there's a little pump right here, like a little embossed section here, I guess from the inside, it poke, pokes out here. So, uh, it won't sit flush over here, but what I might do is if this works, just to save me time, because I could probably make something just out of aluminum, but you know, right now, uh, I don't have much time. <laughs> So what I might do, if, if these lines, if these two holes line up, then with this, then I might just order another one because it was pretty cheap. And I might just cut it off right here and then just go ahead and just cover it like that. So uh, I'd be down to do that. But let's see if these holes line up. Woo-wee! They do! Oh, yes, sir, they do. And I even think the other hole might line up, too. So we might be in business. So, But what I'll do, see what I'm thinking about doing is, see, the holes line up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But thinking about, since this here is raised on the firewall, what I'm thinking about doing is just cutting right here and just calling it good. Because I really don't think... No water's gonna leak down there anyway, and if it does, it's just going straight down into the cowl section, which can get wet anyway. So uh, I'm not really worried about it, man. Clutch. So shout out, man, to SBC Vell. Thank you for this, man. And uh, I'll probably just go ahead and maybe use this for this one, and then I'll just order another one and keep it in the package until I get my Chevelle out and running again. So super clutch, you guys. All right, you guys, so what I'll do now is probably just go ahead and time lapse some things. Uh, that way I can actually get some stuff done with the 20 minutes that I have. And uh, that way I don't have to keep stopping and talking to the camera. So I'll time lapse some things, you guys. And then, uh, shoot, we'll just kind of go from there. So actually what I'll probably do is just start with this wiring harness, take off uh, some of the headlight harnesses and kind of reroute it and get it out the way. So that way we can start going in on this thing. So anyways, you guys stay tuned. up at least for today and right now but oh the joys you find when you're taking apart somebody else's project so anyways that's the headlight harness uh, that came out of the uh, the k5 obviously but uh, it looks like it also is part of the uh, the tail light harness as well so it looks like this pigtail uh, plugs into another one and it goes back to the rear portion of the truck so I'll take you over here it's all a mess you guys but I'll take you over here so obviously I undid it uh, again a lot of similarities I'm sure they used back on a lot of these cars back in the days um, it's like a, a little two-part harness here where one slides into the other one and then it plugs into the uh, the bulkhead here so anyways there was one wire that they had kind of a uh, butt connected to the other harness that I showed you that's on the floor. And then remember that Weber pigtail kind of plugs into here. Now, obviously this is for something that goes through the firewall. And then I was looking where it was routed and I was like, that does not look right. Like, why would that go inside of the frame just uncovered like that, not protected at all? And it might have, you know, it might have went down inside the frame channel there. And who knows? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know nothing about these cars. But per this this um, little rubber grommet, I would think it would go somewhere like in here. And in normal circumstances, this would actually go inside of the car under the carpet, <clears throat> just along the floorboard. And I was kind of looking around to see where I could find something like that. Uh, possibly here, maybe. Maybe, maybe not, but it looks like the speedo or the uh, the hood pop comes through there. So I don't know if they rewired it like that. Uh, but it also looks like something was covered 
in here with some silicone or RTV or this might have been a hole at some point. So I'll have to inspect that, but that doesn't look right. So uh, I'm going to have to get under the car and kind of investigate that. But yeah, y'all just, just, just a hack job, <laughs> just a hack job. So, but I'm glad that I got that done. That was kind of something that was, uh, you know, been on my mind. So I just wanted to get that all done. So anyways, um, not to make this video too long, but I got it all done. Um, why it was probably really hacked up anyway is because obviously, well, it's old and two, who knows how many hands this has exchanged over the past 50 plus years. And three, this, uh, front end is different. So if you look at a normal K5 on this year, I think they had one single headlight right here and then, and then some parking lights and whatnot. But on the 89, they had two, and then also the parking lights as well, as long as this side marker light as well. So obviously that harness was not built for that. So you had to create and splice in other terminals and kind of create your own uh, pigtail. So I'm gonna have to delume all that and rework it myself. Hopefully the wires are still good. If not, I'll cut them back and just make new wires out of them. So because I can't afford right now to buy a whole new harness, um, it's like, you know, $1,000 for a whole new harness. And if these wires are saveable, then I'll save them. If not, then I'll just uh, cut them down and make new ones because I also have these um, these little I forgot what they call these but I have these terminals as well so these are kind of the old school style terminals I have some brand new so I can actually make my own wires if I need that's exactly what I did with my Chevelle so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and, and call this portion of the video anyways thank you you guys if you haven't subscribed yet please do so and man Man, 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 we're getting it in there. We are getting it done. Y'all stay tuned.